Hey, I'm back, and uh, just got back from Apple's event. Uh, I gotta say, pretty boring, pretty standard affair, nothing much happened. Uh, I mean, it is the first one since Steve Jobs passed away, uh, the first keynote, and that was different, but Tim Cook did a good job, brought his southern flair to it. So, that was really cool. Um, but, uh, overall, I mean, new Apple TV, you know, 1080p, whatever. It's a fucking revolution! Uh, small refresh in the UI. Uh, new iPad. <laughs> no, uh, it lost the numerical moniker at the end, so it's not the iPad 3, it's just iPad. <laughs> Which is not uncommon, it's a thing that we've seen before with like iPod. The iPod Touch is the iPod Touch, and the next one is the iPod Touch, and the new one is the iPod Touch. It doesn't ever really change, but I don't know, it, it could get weird, especially since the only way people are differentiating it is by adding new to the front, so it's the new iPad, but yeah, whatever. Um, it's got a retina display. So many pixels! It's uh, got an, a quad-core GPU and a dual-core CPU. And a post-PC was used a lot. Nothing much to brag about. <laughs> so I want to talk about, because uh, I talk about it every episode, with Windows 8. And specifically, Metro. There's... Apps that will run in the classic Windows environment, and then there's HTML5 uh, Metro apps. But they're allowing this third category of Metro web browsers, so you'll be able to use Firefox or Chrome or whatever, Opera or Safari, I guess, if they all wanted to build Metro versions of their app. The first one to say that they will is Mozilla, and that's bullshit because you guys have been claiming that you have Lion support forever, and you fucking don't. You don't have line support. I fucking see the goddamn little scroll bar, and if I see a scroll bar in line, you fucked up. You fucked up, Mozilla. Okay, that's not line support. You don't get to say you got line support, and guess what? I bet you're gonna do the exact same shit with Metro. You're just gonna make it a little flatter, but it's not gonna be anything different. It's not gonna follow any of the design aesthetics. It's not gonna be all awesome looking like IE... 10 or whatever the fuck it is on, in uh, Windows 8, it, it's going to look like shit, and it's going to function like shit, and you're going to say, hey, we did it, good job, everyone, whoa. That South by Southwest, uh, Angry Birds was shown off, that was kind of cool. Angry Birds Space, I should say, not Angry Birds, everyone's seen Angry Birds. But uh, Angry Birds Space is their newest one, coming out sometime at the end, towards the end of this month, I believe, and... Uh, it's classic slingshot bird airplay, except instead of having, you know, gravity bring the bird down in an arc like you would expect, uh, you're in space, so it'll shoot off and, you know, keep going at infinitum. But the big difference is you have planets now that are the obstacles in your path to destroying the pigs. And each planet has uh, gravity, has an orbit. So you'll fling and you'll swing past the thing and you'll loop around or you'll start spinning around. You'll invariably crash into the planet and hopefully you would angled it just right so you crash into the pig. Uh, sounds kind of cool. Uh, Galaxy Note owners are getting some bullshit thing from Samsung and Rovio. I'm not sure what. I read it. I don't really care. It sounded like some bullshit to me. Whatever it is, you're going to... You're, we're all going to end up buying it anyway, right? It's going to be like $1.99, and we're going to just go, Oh, Angry Birds, of course, I'll give Rovio more of my money. Uh, so that'll happen. And last but not least is the Oblo 3, which is going to release now without PvP arenas. And I only have one thing to say to Blizzard about that. Fuck you. What's this? What's this? This is shit. This is shit.
This isn't lion support. Look. Watch. That. That's lion support. See, it fades away. It fucking fades away. Resolutionary.